It's all, look, the only, you've heard me, the IMF. It's a verb. I am F. You just dealt with the International Mafia Federation. The loan sharks are last resort. You Listen, it's one. been declassified that IMF and World Bank actually sent hitmen in to kill government leaders who won't sign their people on to fraudulent debts and agree to default on them so they can come in and take over. I mean, these are savage, savage criminals. And but 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 here's the good news. For the last three years, every economic indicator, a classic depression. They've said milk and honey, everything's great. Now I'm seeing in the news, this is a depression. Uh, Geithner uh, goes on uh, Meet the Press a few weeks ago and says the greatest recession. Uh, there are metal thieves everywhere taking everything, carjackings, coffee places I go to have their doors jerked off and they're uh, Cash registers and safes stolen. Houses are being broken into everywhere. The police are being cut. And they're telling us, crime's down. Crime's down. You don't need your guns to protect yourself. Kidnappings exploding all over the Southwest. And what's the ATF doing? Shipping guns to Mexico uh, to then blame the Second Amendment. And then the Attorney General gets caught lying and doesn't get in trouble. Gerald, this is so lawless. But, but the issue is, now they're having to admit, okay, maybe it is a depression. So they've discredited themselves. So, so where do you see this going? As it, I mean, look at Obama's approval ratings plunging. Where, do you, where does this go? Well, it goes into the Great Depression, the greatest depression. It's worldwide. There's no stopping it. And as we said when we first made our forecast, just follow the notes. 1929, Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, World War III, World War II. Play now. The Panic of 08, the Great Recession, Great Depression. Currency wars that are going on, as you mentioned it. All of the, the currencies are under pressure. And what follows, trade wars and then real wars. They're going to take us to war. These are sociopaths and psychopaths, and they love ca cannon fodder. They'll get the people's mind off the problems. Just like, remember the Obama versus Osama story on May 1st? How the whole na nation went on alert? We got Osama. He's wearing uh, cement block shoes, <laughs> and he's swimming with the fishes. So they fear, fear and hysteria. This is what fascist governments do. Look at the fear and hysteria they generated from that. And I got another one for you. If your memory's short, how about we're going to go into default if we can't come up with a deal? If the if 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 the two if Abbott and Costello and Laurel and Artie can't put their minds together and come up with a deal, we'll go into the fault and you're not going to get your Social Security money. You're not going to get your, your, your Medicaid, Medicare. You're going to get nothing. So it's fear and hysteria, and that's where they're taking us. And then they blame the fact that China and Moody's and Standard and Poor's are all saying, hey, you already are defaulting by hyperinflation. They then blame the Ron Paul type Tea Party people that actually want to get, go after the white shoe boys, uh, the, uh, the New York mafia, the globalist, uh, the, the, the private Federal Reserve. They're now in the news saying, oh, we're losing our credit rating because you didn't get a deal quick enough. It's not the hyperinflation. It's not the too big to fail. It's not the tens of trillions stolen. It's not the derivatives. Now it's the fault of anybody, left, right, center, doesn't matter, who is mad at the bankers. And now there's the new one they've been beta testing, Gerald. Oh, these libertarian people and these people that are angry at the government, they're terrorists, and Homeland Security's now for them, and they're about to hit us any minute, Gerald. I mean, you can really see them now branding that Homeland Security is for the American people, not for the real financial terrorist. Again, fear and hysteria. They're going to keep playing it. And uh, you look at, as I said, Obama's numbers spiked after the Osama bin Laden thing. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to keep the people in fear and hysteria. And it, it's global, and it's breaking down, and there's no stopping it. And I keep repeating GCs, Gerald Salenti's, you know, uh, three Gs, uh, and, and that is guns, gold, and a getaway plan, because this thing is turning ugly fast. And as you point out, right, I could actually see this place across the street. It's the old, one of the oldest buildings in the United States. Late 1600s it was built, the Peer Pearson's house. And they just refurbished it and put on gutters, you know, to stay with the times, you know, the beautiful copper gutters. They're yeah. gone.
I have pots out in front of my place out here at the Trends Research Institute. A street guy comes to me and says, hey, man, I'm going to tell you, my pal wants to steal your copper pots out there. I said, what copper pots? He said, those two. I said, they're not copper, they're pottery. They're painted copper. And then, of course, I said to the guy, listen, if your friend steals those pots, you know, he's not going to like what happens to him. So that's what's going on. He might on. fall down and hit his head. That's the way America used to get its justice done. And that brings me to the next issue. We have breaking news, Gerald. I want you to do five more minutes into the next hour, if you can, with us. Our good friend Mike Adams at Natural News called us earlier this morning. He's confirmed that this story is not even out yet. It'll be at Natural News at InfoWars.com in the next 10 minutes. Multi-targeted raid by combination of county sheriff, FDA, Department of Agriculture, and CDC. Um, armed raid of uh, Rossum Foods, a raw food buying club in Venice, California. And they do this to you know scare everybody and terrorize everybody. Second raid on healthy family farms, which provides raw dairy products uh, legally. Third raid on home of uh, James Stewart, founder of Rossum. Uh, and it just goes through all of this. They're raiding people all over with SWAT teams while the country implodes, while the bankers openly steal everything, while the ATF ships guns to drug gangs all over the U.S., not just Mexico. They are raiding uh, Amish, you name it. it. It's all accelerating. Again, and you can't have a garden in your front yard. I mean, this is this is total mafia. Well, I think it's a bit worse than mafia. I would say this is total fascism. And we have a new feature on our Trends in the News, a Trends Journal, when you're a subscriber. We now have Hans Himmler, America's favorite Nazi. He escaped Germany, hid in Argentina, and now he's come to America for the land that makes him feel at home. So <laughs> Sure, so when I have, say mafia, I mean just total organized crime. Uh, not even that, slavery. They're making us actual, well, I mean, prisoners aren't allowed to have, I guess some prisoners can't have gardens. I mean, that, all these resources, because they know people are getting away from the big mega agra, what you've always talked about. You said people are going to start getting together and creating co-ops, and they can't allow that, Gerald. No, again, it's fascism, the merger of state and corporate powers. Everything that you've been talking about hurts the bigs. Matter of fact, you know, if that woman planted that garden out front over there in Oak Park, Michigan, you know, she may have started something and other people start doing it. What would happen to Monsanto? My God, what would happen to these companies that are selling all this junk? If you let one, if you let one ant stand up, they might all stand up. Five more minutes with Gerald Salente, then a bunch of breaking news. Stay with us. The Declaration of Independence talks about the king has sent forth and created new offices and sent forth swarms of new agents to eat out our substance. It's like locust. And, and that's what happens. And then they want more, 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 more. And you get a North Korea unless you stand up. And I'm telling you, it is a recipe for absolute bedlam. The armed population, all these illegal aliens, all this other stuff together. The mass crime that the government's ignoring while they cut police and try to get our guns. I mean, this is bad news. Gerald, you were you were saying something about uh, when we went to break about the evil woman trying to grow tomatoes in her front yard. And the good news is people rebelled. And that's why the city finally tried to charge her with other stuff. But suddenly neighbors all over the city started planting their own front yard gardens. And that's when the tyrants turned tailed and ran. They only want to keep pushing when they know they can win. The minute they start seeing us have victory, they leave the field because they don't want our victories to become contagious. You got it. You know, people often write to us and say, you know, I point out a lot of the problems. What are some of the solutions? Well, we have the Salenti solution in this Trans Journal. Direct democracy. Let the people vote. We do not have a representative form of government. Only little kiddies in high school believe that one. The only people our representatives represent are the very powerful, the very rich, and the special interests. That's who they do their carrying for. So what we're saying on major issues, be it war, education, health care, the budget, whatever it might be, critical issues, direct democracy, let the people vote. And we can do it online. Online? But my gosh, there could be fraud. Oh, yeah, like there's none now? Hey, you want to go? How about some hanging chads, Al Gore? 
You know, so this could be totally transparent. And if you could bank online, you could vote online. And what country has direct democracy? That's probably one of the richest countries in the world. The standard of living is the highest among the population. Everybody's armed. No crime, hardly any crime. Switzerland. Yep. The food's not bad. Good looking place. Oh, no, not here. We have, because people start writing back. They say, we have a constitution. Yeah, if you think we have a constitution, you're out of your mind. Well, Gerald, the direct democracy, and, as you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm entertaining this idea, and I want to have you back. In fact, tomorrow, I should have plugged this, we're doing a special report, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, PrisonPlanet.tv. And then, of course, after that, it'll go out later all over the web, and we'll uh, probably even re-air it here uh, the next day because it's going to be so informative. Uh, but he'll be joining us tomorrow, PrisonPlanet.tv, 7 p.m. Central, uh, for an InfoWars special report. But in closing, if you look at their system, it's states that have de uh, direct democracy, and then they send their representatives who then vote directly there. But, but, so there's still some checks and balances. I mean, if it's totally direct, they could bamboozle the public into, uh, by falsely labeling things, some pretty dangerous Alex, stuff. Alex, they bamboozle the public now. They're in total control. At least we'll get the future we deserve. And we're looking for volunteers. The website is directdemocracynow.org. This to us is the greatest revolution. It could happen worldwide. Let's put the, take the hands. Look what we have, a gang of 535 running this country. 535 people, a cavalcade of clowns. The Republicans and the Democrats making life and death issues for us. I've had it. Well, we've got to have a debate about it. And um, I look forward to tomorrow night getting into more of the trends and discussing uh, this solution that you have. Uh, Gerald, fire out your websites for folks. Trendsjournal.com, trendsjournal.com. The summer issue just came out. And directdemocracynow.org if you want to change the system. All right, thank you so much. When you're out on the Ask yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds?